Yeah, I mean, once, like like I said, once those two get going on the ice, it's they're almost like positionless at a certain point when they're in the offensive zone, and they're able to do that too because, you know, their skating's able to make up if they do make a mistake or, or anything like that. But, yeah, I think, I mean, they got a lot of skill and, and talent on that team, and uh, they're able to complement it so well. And when you have a guy like Kale on the back end who could kind of jumpstart the offense for those guys too, it, it definitely helps, uh, you know, everyone on that team. Are you a guy who watches a lot of hockey as a fan? I try to. Uh, how, how do you watch? Do you watch critically, or are you able to kind of just turn your brain? No, no. I mean, maybe sometimes we watch a play and be like, oh, he had this or anything like that, but I'm not, you know, dissecting guys' games and trying to break down the film or anything like that. So I try and watch simply as a fan. And What's it like playing in Manhattan when the team is winning and going on runs like you did last year? Yeah, it's the best. I mean, it's one of the best sports cities in the world. I mean, uh, I saw when even the Knicks were in the playoffs and, and you know, the, the city got behind them. That was before we made the playoffs, too. So, uh, and then the run we had last year, I mean, uh, the city just kind of gets behind you. And, uh, you know, being from New York, too, I kind of understand the fans' perspective of when the Rangers are, are going good and, uh, you know, how much support they give to us.